in lesson seven here we're going to go ahead and rear um sorry model the rear view mirror for our car and you will see a lot of times if you look at uh any vehicle model that's actually been done that they typically just use a a cylinder to attach that that mirror to the roof of the car and basically do that and a lot of the times it's not right because that's not exactly how a a rear view mirror should actually look inside of the car if you go outside and you look at your car if you drive a car you will go in your car and you'll see that the the mirror is actually attached to the to the windshield itself and with our car having such a rather large windshield and such rather large windows we actually need to to go ahead and place that mirror properly and you will see that um, we're going to go ahead and model it somewhat accurate. Um, it's not going to be a 100% accurate rear view mirror, but it'll be placed right and it'll actually be on the windshield here. And you can see that I'm just, I just downloaded a, a simple image from Google. Um, we definitely don't need all the GPS gadgets that they have on the mirror in the picture. Um, we just generally need the, the basic shape of it. So since we're pretty much just going to be seeing the back of the of the mirror and I just want to get the the general shape of the mirror here and I'm just simply doing this with a box and you can see where you know we pretty much have the the basics of our mirror already and it you know it doesn't take that much time And you'll also see in a later lesson where, you know, we'll actually do seat belts too. And, and this is important because, you know, most people, whenever they model a CG car, if you look at a CG car, you can pretty much tell that it is CG because there are no seat belts. You never really see any seat belts actually inside of a car. And you can see that I'm just, you know, insetting faces there on the front to, to go ahead and we're going to extrude in and basically make the the glass material for our mirror but I'm going to go back and say you know a lot of the times you don't really see seat belts but you know you don't necessarily need seat belts in a car model but in this case since our windows are so large and you can actually see the entire inside portion of the car we need to make sure that we actually add these details because if you go ahead and you look at the car and you look at the inside of the car and you don't see seat belts and you don't see you know the mirror here attached properly it's just not going to convey that message of you know how the car is actually supposed to look so in this case we really do need to to model the seat belts and we really do need to model you know the rear view mirror because if we didn't it just isn't going to look proper and it just isn't going to look correct so we have to try to add a a good mix of detail versus you know doing it the proper way and it's it's somewhat of a fine line but if you do your job right then you know you shouldn't have much of a problem here and like i said we aren't going to need that little gps button it looks like an on star button almost on the bottom of the mirror um, we just generally need the shape for it and now I'm just uh, adjusting the verts of the of the shape here to try and match it a little bit more I'm just making sure I grab both sides at the same time. And there's our mirror shape, basically. <laughs> 